Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Birmingham, Alabama with the Georgia Transparency and J-Town Press. Yeah, the gruesome twosome. As they attempt to film inside of a non-public forum, a.k.a. Uh, the local courthouse, but they end up getting physically removed. Well, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned, Rusty Boy. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. GT and the J-Town Press went hot in Jefferson County, Alabama at the courthouse in Birmingham. After approximately five minutes of being in the public areas of the building, both GT and J-Town were physically removed from a public space. You know, uh... Instead of calling you two the gruesome twosome, I am just going to go ahead and call you uh, McRusty and wife. Yeah, for anybody who's seen the uh, 1970s uh, TV show McMillan and Wife, you'll understand. I mean, McMillan and wife were a very good crime-fighting couple, but you just can't have such a great pair without flipping the coin and finding, well the garbage end of that spectrum, which is Rusty Boy here and Lana. In fact, I should really come up with an intro at some point for these two whenever I do them again. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, but let's carry on, shall we? Oh, yeah. Are you sure you don't record our faces, okay? I'm sorry. Sir? Don't record our faces. Oh, I already have. You have? Wait, so I'm live. You, can you, can you, you a smile? handsome, you a can handsome you man. Can you, can you smile? I, I'm going to try not to. Look at her. <laughs> oh, <man>. oh, <laughs> I thought he was for real. Yeah, I know. You know, Rusty Boy, you always uh, whine, cry, and complain about your rights inside of a courthouse. But did you ever stop to think about the rights of the other people in a courthouse, like the jurors, the witnesses that intend to give statements at a trial, or even attorney-client privilege? Because people do tend to talk in those hallways, and you wouldn't want to compromise somebody's case now, would you? Oh, I forgot who I was talking to. I forgot I was talking to Georgia Transparency, who's all in it for himself rather than the needs of the many. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm sorry. I, I thought I was talking to somebody with some common damn sense. My apologies, but let's carry on, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. Turn around so I can get your face. Turn around so I can get your face. Right here. Right here. No, no, get my face. That makes them feel better. Look how good they feel. Causing a commotion. Will you get my face? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it's official business. Oh boy, it sounded like Lana over there was triggered by the cam back. Because, you know, frauditors tend to not like people who use their cameras to record them. Because, well, they have the right to film you all day, every day. But at the moment that you pull out your camera to film them, they get offended. Oh, poor little baby. Five minutes later... I'm sorry? You've been ordered to leave the courthouse. Ordered to leave the courthouse? Under what law? You can't be inside the program. You can't be filming without permission for your permission. Uh, that's why I was asking you. Why are you filming? You just can't film people's faces. Under freedom of the press? What about freedom of the press? What's your name, Oh, come on now, Rusty Boy. You can't be that damn stupid. I mean, freedom of the press does not mean that you have more rights than everybody else. Is that what you believe? That you have more rights than me because you consider yourself a member of the press when uh, you're actually not? Because you do know that freedom of the press actually means 
that you have the right to publish your stories and, and not have them censored by the government, right? Which is something that we enjoy, but a lot of countries around the world don't get to enjoy. And then there's that nasty little issue of trespassing law. Yes, Rusty Boy, you can be trespassed off of any property if they ask you to leave. But frauders tend to have this idea that they can't be trespassed off of any property because, well, they're Americans. I'm not giving you my Oh, do you have a supervisor? So I'm going to play. I do not work for sheriff's office. I do not speak for sheriff's office. Come this way. If you don't mind, come this way. Can we get a. Can we get a? Well, can well can we get your supervisor or a lieutenant sure. here or something? Yeah, let's let's, let's get. Uh, Come on. I want to speak to your. Oh, I'm sorry, Rusty boy, but asking for a manager in this particular case still won't help you out because well, you've been asked to leave by well, probably a higher authority than that. Uh, supervisor, maybe the judge or something like that. But then again, you probably think a judge doesn't have any authority outside the courtroom anyway, which is a load of bullshit. They do have authority over the courthouse as well as the courtroom. I'm just going to kind of wait here are you, are you to be. Oh, well, let's, let's wait at the door. How about no, wait at the door? I, just, I would prefer to wait right here in public. You want to wait right here? Yeah, I, yeah. I want to be like left alone. All right. Okay. I want to be like left alone to gather my news story. Yeah. You want to be left alone. Okay. So what type of news story? It's private right now, but it's freedom of the press under the First Amendment. Have you ever heard of that? Right. Okay. That's. Oh my I'm God. I'm glad you said that. Now listen to me. What story you writing? Because it's okay to tell somebody you writing a story. If you writing a story about me, you should be able to tell me why you writing a story well, about me. Right? Oh, well, I mean, well, I don't I say if you understand. Buy what is, what, is the, uh, what writing am I going to buy? Yeah, uh, so Jefferson County security officer yeah, violate right. the rights of the people. That's what the story right? Right now. Oh no, I got a better story for you, Lana. A pair of morons with a bastardized view of the Constitution get trespassed from the courthouse because they don't understand the public forum doctrine. Uh yeah, that'd be a nice little story right there. Why am I violating? Did I kick you, you out? Of you here? just said we have you to leave the courthouse. Did I put you in handcuffs? Well, you said we have to leave the courthouse. Right. I'm just saying you have to leave from out of this area right, right, right here and go area. towards the front door. It's no, but my gosh, you guys gotta leave the courthouse. I'm sorry. You've been ordered to leave the courthouse. Ordered to leave the courthouse? This is a public area. What the? Six four four six. Maybe I'll be recorded here. We already have permission. It's a public area. Hey, sir. No, the courtroom we can't go into. No, we can't go in the courtroom. Are you a Jefferson County police officer or deputy? Why are you recording out here? Because it's in public. It's freedom of the press. I'm working on a story. Sir? Hold on, somebody coming. Why are you recording here? Freedom of the press. You're not the press. How do you, how do you know? Are you the press? Yes, freedom of the press. Do you have credentials to practice your religion? Oh my goodness, that's such a false equivalency fallacy right there, dude. I mean, come on now. Even though they're a part of the same amendment, there are two entirely separate uh, issues going on right here. Nobody is coming in here to exercise their religion because a religion is a matter of personal belief, while freedom of the press is a matter of being able to publish your stories without government interference. I said publishing, which doesn't mean entering a non-public forum and acting like you're the big boss man in there, dude, which you're not. But you know what? I really get tired of circular reasoning, and that's all it is from this point on, circular reasoning. So let's uh, skip ahead to the part where they are removed from the building, shall we? Fifteen minutes later. What is going on? Don't arrest me. Sir? Don't arrest me. Okay. I'm not harassing you. I'm not. So we, we have to leave? Lawsuit incoming. Lawsuit incoming. Oh, yeah, Rusty Boy. How many lawsuits have you threatened and uh, 
How many have you actually uh, sent out? Yeah, that uh, threat just gets old and has no real teeth to it now that you've said it a million times. Hell, if I had a dollar for every time I've heard you say something about a lawsuit, then I'd probably be a millionaire by now. I'm waiting on my I'm waiting on my partner. I'm sorry. Why are Why are we going hands on? You go outside and then you can talk to me. Why? Because we asking you out. You disrupt. Why? Why Why are we putting? How is How is this a disrupt? Sir, please don't touch me. Let's go. Sir, man, please don't touch me. I'm not. I'm escorting you out. Please don't touch. I'm escorting no. them because you all are causing a disruption of operations. How did I cause the disruption? Can you articulate it? They're and allowed they to film? Look, look, look. You will. We're going to talk right over here. I'm going to put this way, sir. We came in this way. This okay, well, we'll go out this way. It don't matter. So well, we got conflicting. Well, we got conflicting information, though. Yeah, you're okay, saying this way, and you're saying. Did you, did you come in this way? I don't know which way you came in. Which way did you come in? I want to go. Oh, okay, we come this way. No, I mean you're pushing. You're, 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 you're sitting there pushing me in my back. It's okay, hurting. no, I'm not. Oh, listen to that. Lana is a fragile little snowflake that can't stand being just touched a little bit on the back. I mean, you really should go get yourself checked out. For that, I mean, if you're that sensitive to being touched, you might not want to ever step out in public again. Yeah, that would do us all a favor, and you would, if you would stay at home and just make sure that nobody touches this uh, fragile little snowflake. Yes, you are. You're putting your mind in the You're putting your mind in the This way. Y'all are going to catch a lawsuit for this. Wow. I'm, God, wow. wow. How is this a disruption? How is this a disruption? Is there a supervisor available? How are y'all going to kick f***ing press out of the courthouse and putting hands on us? Sir, this is my freedom of speech. Are you okay, a supervisor, sir? Yes. Yeah. And what's your name? I'm the chief of security here at the courthouse. Chief of security. Barry Kemp. Okay. And why were we just physically removed from the courthouse? I was not in the courthouse, okay, so well, I do not can know. You, can you do an investigation? The then? deputy here, who's the Jefferson County Sheriff. Yeah, yeah, so we went out because they were preventing How? operations. How now, you now, now conversation. Now conversation. Now conversation. Okay. How? Okay. So, hold on just a minute. How you doing? I'm going to get my hey, how are you? In the meantime, you can talk to this supervisor. Well, he doesn't have any. Okay, you know, I'm just going to cut it off right here because, you know, these two idiots, they don't get their way in the end. They ended up, uh, well, spending the next 15 minutes going uh, over their circular reasoning, and it's all for nothing. I mean, come on now, Rusty Boy. You use the same damn arguments in all your videos, so at least come up with something a little bit better that won't get you trespassed because, well, this isn't working very well for you, dude. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?